Hey everybody. So I picked up a new beast off uh, one of the auction sites. It's a Van Wart Sun and Company side by side. It's a 12 gauge front loader as you can see. Percussion. Damascus barrels. Somebody had to uh, change one of the nipples on this side. It looks it's been drilled out and a bigger nipples been put in. I don't know if that's why it shot better. I've got a video coming up after this. Uh, me shooting it and uh, I'll have to back out the nipples and look at them. See maybe maybe the hole is a bit bigger in this one. That barrel seemed to go off uh, a little bit quicker and louder than the than the left side. So pull out to take a look at see where the, what the difference is in the nipples I don't know how much you'll be able to see here I do a little bit of work on it this thing here is loose I don't know what you call that piece the, uh, the brass comes out. So it'll need a little bit of work. Some uh, markings on the barrel. Let's focus on that or not. I'll have to look those up and see. Belgian barrels or, or what? Barrels are in really good shape. The uh, piece here though looks like somebody uh, put some JB well or something there to hold it on. So that's kind of a downer. Wasn't mentioned in the auction side of course. But uh, that's fine. I mean it still looks alright. I'm not too fuzzy. Old shotgun I only paid 200 bucks for it so can't complain too much. Probably not showing up too nice, but it's got a nice little ramrod with it. Well, I've been wanting one for a while, so I thought, hey, at that price, can't turn it down. Might need a little bit of work. I think uh, one of the Hammers is not going back all the way, and the half cock seems to be a bit out. So I'll have to take the lock apart and maybe clean it up. Maybe it's just uh, needs to be tightened up or something. Had the uh, flint lock that was doing that. So once I tightened up all the all the insides, it seemed to work alright. So we'll take a look and see if it's worn out or just loose. Anyway, just thought I'd show that off. Uh, stick around. I'm, I've uh, got a video of me shooting it. I loaded it up with some, I think eight and a half shots, some, somewhere around there, eight and a half or nine. It's just some shot I got. It was actually shot that somebody was using. Um, I think he was putting it in golf balls or something. But anyways, it's suitable enough for shooting. So I loaded that up uh, in here and uh, took a couple shots off. So I'll probably uh, do up a video how I load this. But it's uh, nothing special. I'm just pouring the powder in. I have some uh, wads that I've cut just from uh, orange juice container. Just that, and basically using a big ass three quarter inch punch, knock a bunch of holes out, and uh, use those as my wads. And it's uh, seemed to fire good. It had a good pattern on the board. It wasn't very far away, but I was surprised it uh, worked all right. So. Try playing around with that, uh, or maybe even cutting some thicker cardboard wads and see see what kind of change. Anyways, that's it for now. Uh, it's, uh, happy shooting.
12 gauge black powder, Damascus barrels, and uh, it's uh, muzzle loading. So that was uh, 60 grains of black powder and uh, 60 grains of 7.5 shot. We'll see how it patterned on the board over there in a minute. So this is the board. Only shooting from about I don't know, 20 feet. 20 feet. It's got a nice, uh, nice pattern. I'll have to try that with some uh, clays next time. It's been raining on and off here today, so that's it. I'm just doing a simple shoot. Next time we'll uh, get out the uh, clay thrower and try and shoot some clays down.